This floral-inspired, petal-like structure is perfect for architectural renders or creative projects. First, create a chamfer cylinder from the Create panel. Pro tip, proportions are key for this design. Set the base radius to 10 units for a clean starting point. This will be our foundation petal, and we'll scale up from here. Apply a Turbo Smooth modifier to your cylinder. Crank up the iterations to at least two for that silky, polished look. Trust me, this makes the petals pop. Next, let's shape those petals with an FFD modifier. Select FFD 3x3x3 for flexibility. Click the drop-down and choose control points, or simply press 1. Now, select the outer control points. Check the reference video for the exact spots and scale them down along the x-axis to create that delicate petal taper. Then, grab the center points and gently adjust them to form a smooth, natural curve. Play with it until it feels just right. Here's where it gets exciting. Let's create the radial pattern. Add an array modifier and set the distribution to radial. Increase the array radius to spread the petals out and set the Z-axis rotation to 90 degrees in the Transform menu. Bump the copy count to 15 for a full, lush arrangement. Adjust the radius to ensure no petals overlap. Clean spacing is key. Now, let's fine tune. Rotate the entire array so the first petal aligns with the grid's center point for symmetry. Perfect? Let's layer it up. Hit Trump C to copy the entire array. For this new layer, increase the array radius slightly to stagger the petals. Head back to the chamfer cylinder and tweak its radius to 15, up by 5 from the original. Rotate this layer to center it with the first and adjust the array radius to avoid overlap. Drag the layer down slightly along the Z-axis to create depth. No clashing petals here. For the third layer, repeat the process. Copy the first array, set the cylinder radius to 20, adjust the array radius, and slide it down the Z-axis for a stacked effect. Boom, three gorgeous petal layers done. Wait, does it look upside down? No problem. Select all layers, rotate 180 degrees along the Z axis, and voila, our ceiling design is right side up. From here, you can keep going. Add as many layers as you want by repeating these steps. Scale up the radius, adjust the array, and stack those petals for a show-stopping design. Floral-inspired, petal-like structure is perfect for architectural renders or creative projects. And there you have it, a breathtaking ceiling design in 3ds Max. Ready to render this beauty or tweak it further? Drop your questions in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more 3D tutorials. Let's keep creating. See you in the next one.